Hi, I'm Chuck Friedman, Director of Developer Advocacy at Akamai Technologies. Every day I get to work with people who are finding success on our platform and within our community. Come join me as we talk about the journey it took to get there and some insightful stories that they can share about their experience along the way. Welcome to the Developer's Edge. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Developer's Edge. I'm so excited today for our guest, Prachi Shah, who's a colleague of mine at Akamai. Really excited to talk to Prachi about all that she does for Akamai in her very exciting role, um, how it supports what we do, engaging developers and improving our experience for developers. And so Prachi, welcome to Developer's Edge. Thank you, Chuck. Nice to be here. Thank you. Um, Want to tell us a little bit about your role and how long you've been at the company? Let's see. I started uh, at Akamai in 2015. Uh, and I started off with this role, which is the service architect role, and it has been an amazing journey so far. So this role is like a liaison between, um, so we do have global services and support function within Akamai that is customer facing roles. That's generally the field, you know, the customer success group, professional services, support services, those types of roles. And then on the other side, we have internally product design and development teams, right? So this role is a liaison where we get to represent the viewpoint of customers as well as all of global services uh, within the product development and design process. How did your career trajectory get you to this point? And is this something that you realized early on that you wanted to do? Or did you pick up things along the way uh, through your career and then got to a place where you could uh, do this exceptional work? Service architect role really is for people who have had some customer facing experience. Uh, for me, that was outside of Akamai. Uh, I spent about seven, eight years at a startup called Baynote. First, you know, I first had the role of a business analyst and then into a solutions engineer, then a solutions architect. Then I get, got into more strategic roles of technical project management and then engagement management. So I progressively saw pretty much all of the life cycle of, you know, from pre-sales to implementation. And then of course I was there also handling troubleshooting and calls from customers and emails from customers. So I got to see that full cycle of implementation once, you know, post-sales implementation cycle for the, for our customers. And I think just, Having been able to be part of a startup, just, you know, I think if it's five years of experience in a startup, it ends up being 10 years just because of the amount of work you're doing and the various hats that you're constantly changing and you're playing various roles. Yeah, it sounds like it's been an incredible career path and certainly your, your tenure at Akamai and doing what you're doing. I wanted to ask you the prominence of customer feedback, of course, but also developers within our customers who are often the actual users of our solutions. Um, how does that factor in? Do you discern between who might be a DevOps engineer versus, say, an active front-end developer? Um, and I'd love to just get some insight into sort of that, that understanding of you know, where the feedback's coming from and how it gets routed. Uh, through your process. With the multiple pre-production environments that the customer may have, um, customers seem to struggle to keep in alignment all of the pre-production environments that they may have and their production environment. Um, there may be times when you know there's an emergency rollout on a production and now somebody has to remember to go back and make changes to all of those previous pre-production environments and it's not easy to do that. Um, so while you know the the core functionality of Akamai, whether you do it through a UI versus through an API, doesn't really change. But it's the management piece where I think the APIs really shine. Through your involvement with our developer champions group and seeing some of the emergence of, of tools like Slack, where there's um, folks from our dev teams and customer facing teams now having real time interaction with developers as they're using tools, do you think that there's another emerging inlet or source of feedback? And does that require us to expedite or um, improve or change how we're communicating back to developers as we, as we take their feedback in? Absolutely. Uh, I think as we are innovating our products, both in security and at Edge, 
we are also innovating on how we are communicating with our customers, which is fabulous to see, right? Again, it shows that growth mindset. Then it becomes more important that we are also ensuring that their feedback is heard in a timely manner. Uh, and I, I think that you're absolutely right, like Slack is one amazing way to connect with customers directly uh, and for engineering teams to start to get that feedback or that lens of how is the customer looking at this and what kind of problems are coming in. Uh, but I do want to mention that with so many different ways in which a customer can provide feedback, it can get a little bit challenging to understand where do you focus on first you know prioritization then becomes a challenge too so that is something that we need to constantly keep um, looking at like am i focused on the right things at this point of time am i just focused on urgent things or am i really going into you know important things not urgent but they're important to do as well like there needs to be a good balance between them if you weren't doing this role have you considered what else you'd be doing that would uh, make you happy I think I would be a baker. I uh, I love baking cakes. Um, I have I started when my older daughter was uh, was one year old. I was like, oh my god, you know, if I want like really custom cakes for my kids' birthdays, I couldn't really find something nice out there. Um, and so I started to bake myself, and I absolutely enjoy baking. I think that's probably what I would be doing if I was not here. <laughs> but I absolutely love innovating. I, I'm a little bit crazy when it comes to innovation, I, because I, you know, we don't eat. Sometimes if I'm not eating eggs, I need to have some substitute for that. I love to innovate the Indian recipes. I like to have fusions. Um, and I love to, uh, you know, play with spices, Indian spices quite a lot. Uh, and in baking, uh, you know, I'll, I'm really good at looking at various designs and then I'll come up with my own design um, for decorations. Uh, something that I know my kids would really relate with because, you know, that's something that only I can know. So I think, uh, I think 70% that people would like it and 30% innovation. <laughs> Together, we're doing some great things, Prachi, to uh, continue enablement as a top priority for our developers and customers. So this was really awesome just to get to know you a bit more, what you do in more detail. And uh, really, I got a lot of takeaways too about how our collaboration is gonna take shape even further and, and more positively going forward. So thank you so much for your time today. Thank you, Chuck. And again, thank you so much for the opportunity. Uh, it was really fun um, conversation. I thought you had really good questions for me, so thank you. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's conversation. If you like it and want to see more, please subscribe to the Akamai Developer channel, hit like, and you'll get notified when we have future episodes available. You can also browse our other developer content in series. Till next time, take care and see you soon.